pops them up, fits in. And again, it's Harai Goshi because the Goshi part is the hip. That's the axis. That's the, that's the center of the throw. It's not just a leg throw like an Ogaruma or something or, or Ashiguruma. Yeah. It's, the, it's the hip. Right, goshi using the, the, the standard kumikata grip. When you're doing your right goshi, you're using this particular grip. I'd say grab a little higher on the elbow, so grab the tricep area, so you can really get a lot of uh, a lot of purchase here and pulling here. And this hand is going to be your lifting, pulling action here. You're going to be doing this. What you're going to be doing is a surikomi goshi, but then having your hip a little shy, not super deep with the hip, and so you can get enough hip in where it's still the axis of the throw. But what you want to do is then use the sweeping action. So when you're coming in like this, you're popping them up and you've got this. When you come in, your hip's not real far in, but just enough, we can a nice sweeping action. And when you do this, is it more of a standard? This is kind of a classic harai goshi is what it is. Okay, when you pop them up, there's a big pop up there. Notice the big surikomi action with the body, okay, the lifting, pulling, entry action. Okay, now all Derek's going to do is quickly turn and make a sweep. And there's a harai goshi. So you can see how the surikomi action, it's like in surikomi goshi, lends directly to harai goshi, uchimata, hane goshi, any of these forward throws where you're really relying on this surikomi action. Just one more time. He pops them up, fits in. And again, it's harai goshi because the goshi part is the hip. That's the axis. That's the, that's the center of the throw. It's not just a leg throw, like an ogaruma or something, or, or ashiguruma. Yeah. It's, the, it's the hip. It's the hip.